Hello, my name is Jeroen Pennings. I'm a Dutch guitar player. And today I'm here with my good friend and talented gypsy guitar player, Paulus. Hello, Paulus. Hi, my friend. We're going to introduce you to the gypsy jazz music. When I first got introduced to this music, I found it quite in intimidating. It was uh, lots of notes, lots of stuff going on, but it was really fascinating. So we tried to find out a way, how can we get people interested in this kind of music. My opinion uh, is to start really easy. And easy is not like, oh, simple, let's do this and, and everybody can do this, but understandable. If I play 100 notes in a minute, everybody gets lost within a minute. But if you make it understandable for us guitar players, it's uh, uh, accessible. And that's what we're trying to do today. We start off with a basic chord uh, schedule, progression C, A minor, F and G. And we're going to use a few scales, like the A minor pentatonic and the C diatonic scale, to get us started. So a C chord is accessible for almost everybody. You, know? you can play in a bar, whatever you want. But a C chord is accessible for people. You know? So added to that, we got the A minor pentatonic, which is I think the most common uh, skill used for most guitar players. And we use the C major diatonic. Using those two scales, we found a way to enter the gypsy way of playing, but without understanding uh, what we're doing. So if you hear Paulus play, like, like he plays lots of notes, and it's really difficult to understand what's going on. But if you figure out a pattern which you can use, it gets way easier and way more accessible. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to play a chord, and if you want to, do a little improvisation. So you got a C chord. F. And if you listen, you can hear the style of Paulus shining through those notes. And they're exactly the same, you know? I can play them as well. Can you play the chords? Yes. Yeah. No? So both using the same skills, but this is my way of playing, that's Paulo's way of playing. And if you accept that there are differences, and you're willing to let go of the ego, like I'm a better or he's better, or you get insecure of playing with other guitarists. It's good to be vulnerable at some point, you know? It doesn't matter if you make a mistake, that's what music is all about, you know? Yes, we're not computers, yeah. that's true. I mean, you're gonna make mistakes, that's what's gonna happen. I've been playing for 30 plus years, you've been playing, and one life is simply too short to learn it all. So you have to find a way that you're gonna be happy as a guitar player. Let us take you on a little trip, uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to play the scales for you, so you get a little impression of how you can play them. It's just an advice, so it's no rule, like you have to do it this way. I like to play with a little uh, guitar pick. I use four fingers, uh, that's my way of playing. Uh, the gypsy way, uh, with two fingers, but Django, yeah. really fast. Still don't understand how he did it, but he did. Yeah. So I'm going to show you the scales, do a little improvisation. Um, we also made a little workshop, which you can find online as well. It's been added to the video. We got the, the open accor uh, chords and we got the chords barred. So you can decide your own level. If you're going to use the skills, choose one. And then after a while you can choose the other one, practice them. And after a while you can combine them. Little steps. And if you're a more advanced player, feel free to, to, to make your own song. You can try to copy it, you know, so you get a little bit of an idea of somebody else is playing. But feel free to do your own thing with it. Yeah, so here we go. Yes. So we got the A minor pentatonic scale. And we got a C major. So, use them to improvise. Here we go. C major. 
major. And start to combine them. First you play the C, A minor, F and G chord. And if you might have noticed, if you start an improvisation over the basic chords, after a while it gets a little bit dull, you know, you, you, there's a little bit of more spice. I always compare it to tomato soup, you know, if you got a tomato water and a, and a little bit of salt, you get tomato soup. But if you had a little bit of chicken, then you get Chinese tomato soup, and that's where it's all about. So we got a little bit more complicated chords, it's a D minor 7. A G7, a C major 7, and an E minor 7. And you might know here that as soon as we start to play this, it gets a little bit more intricate. You know, you get more flavor to it. I'm going to use the same scales, the E minor and the C major scale, and see how it sounds. You ready? Yes. The main thing about what we've shown today is not to be intimidated by other guitar players. It's really easy to think, oh, he plays a lot and he's better. Like I said before, it doesn't matter. It's all about having fun in playing and keep on learning, you know. One life is just not enough to play everything you want, you know. So you have to make choices. Dare to be vulnerable in your playing. And that's, in my opinion, the way to learn. What do you think? Yes, of course, this is true what my friends say. It is not a match, it is together we play music. Give you time to learn good and, and very important is also if you play, play clean. And also uh, the level is you level high, my level is low, no matter. As we play together music, this is very important, my friends. Totally agree on that. So have fun playing the guitar. 
If you got any questions, you would like to know more, or like to see more of us, then please leave your uh, question in the comments. Be free, comments. I'm sorry about that. Feel free. Um, uh, we uh, we like to, to to answer your questions. What's yes, of on? course. Yes, yes. So be our guest, and hopefully we we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Cheers. Ciao, ciao.